Welcome to the Gorilla's Tribe of Amazon Sellers. Uh, good afternoon, good evening, good morning, wherever you are in the world. I hope everyone's okay. It's Paul Adams here from the Amazon Gorillas. Um, right, today what we're going to be doing is um, answering a few questions. We've had a few questions that come in um, periodically throughout the week. And um, the subject uh, that's come up a couple of times is what about label? What labels do I need to put on my products? Um, what's the UPC or barcode? What information do I need on there? Um, so we're going to cover that. So what identifier do I need to add to my products? That's the very common question. And uh, let's have a look and see what that means. So this is what the Amazon policy says about UPCs. So most categories require sellers to use a product identifier to create new product pages and listings. Now the specific GTIN or global trade item number required for the product page creation and matching varies by category, although UPCs are the most commonly used. Guidelines for UPC and GTINs. Many categories have specific UPC and GTIN guidelines that sellers are required to follow when creating product pages. These include requirements for products sold as bundles and requirements for products sold as packs. In other words, individual products need to be um, UPC'd, um, but there, you can just um, search for this inside the Seller Central under the um, help section. The next bullet point here is sellers must use the correct product identifier for the item they are listing. The use of false product identification information, including UPC codes, is prohibited. For more information, see product detail page rules. Okay, so I'm not going to go into that because it's lengthy. All right, but each category has its own particular requirements. So go and check that out and make sure that we're using the direct one. The second one really refers to if you're um sharing the buy box in other words if you've gone down to toys r us and you you bought yourself um i don't know what the latest toys are on a buzz light yeah uh for example uh, and you want to sell a buzz light yeah you need to um correctly list that under the the current listing on amazon and not create your own unless you're using a bundle in other words buzz light year plus something else plus something else and that one bundle would have its own UPC, regardless of the individual items. All right. So let's have a look. Next one. All right. Valid UPCs. Okay. This is this is where a lot of people come uh, with a big question. This is Amazon's policy again, and they state we verify, as in Amazon verifies the authenticity of product UPCs by checking the GS1 database. UPCs that do not match the information provided by GS1 will be considered invalid. We recommend obtaining your UPCs directly from GS1 and not from third parties selling UPC licenses to ensure the appropriate information is reflected in the GS1 database. Okay, let's move on. This is the GS1 official website, and I've got the link here. As always, you're going to get a copy of these slides, and you can see the, the link at the top there, gs1.org forward slash barcodes. You'll be able to click on that, and it'll take you here. Have a look around. Um, just a, a word of advice, if you're going to buy your UPC codes or barcodes from here, it's expensive uh we're talking several hundred dollars per upc but it's the real deal and obviously uh, this is what everybody's recommending including amazon you will if you are selling for whatever reason if you're expanded to the point you're now selling into the big stores like target walmart for sure you would need a gs1 code okay 
But let's have a look, see what I do. But let's have a look, see what a UPC goes. Let's go in some definitions, okay? So the Universal Product Code, UPC, is a barcode symbology that is widely used in United States, Canada, United Kingdom, Australia, New Zealand, and in Europe and other countries for tracking trade items in stores. Everybody seen these on products? And this is what it looks like down the bottom. Now, a barcode is an optical machine readable representation of data. The data usually describes something about the object that carries the barcode. In this case, just a, a bunch of lines and some numbers, as you can see. That is your barcode, and that is representing your UPC as the number at the bottom. In this case, this is straight out of Wikipedia. It says 0360029145 That's your UPC. Your barcode represents that. Okay. Facts about a UPC. A UPC barcode can be called a UPC, UPC-12, UPC-A, or universal product code. It is 12 digits long. You'll also see some that are 13, but I'll come across that in a minute. It is originally created for the use in the United States and Canada. Perhaps as seen previously, it's now expanded worldwide. It consists of lines and bars and numbers. The lines on there are called bars, hence the barcode. There is no information about you, your company, your product, or pricing information hidden inside that barcode. Your product and your UPC code will become associated with each other once you provide your barcode and product information to the stores that will be selling your products or when you create your listing online with Amazon, CD Baby, iTunes, or any other online store. Okay, so that's when it gets associated with each other once you go public with it. Okay, you will need a barcode for each of your products. In other words, garlic press. The garlic press will need one barcode. Even if you've got a million garlic presses, it's just one barcode, but that one barcode, as long as it's absolutely unique, will go on that that product. Okay, you don't need a million different barcodes. You need one barcode for all of those products because that is a one product and one product only. Hence this last statement here. You can use the barcode an unlimited amount of times as long as it is on exactly the same product. Okay, if it's a variation by a different color, different size, different weight, it needs its own unique barcode. So, Paul, where do you get your UPC's code? Um, I don't. I don't go to GS One. All right, I use Speedy barcodes. And this is what it looks like. Again, we've got the, the UPC here. I'm sorry, the, the, the link. So you can dive onto that link and, and have a look around. Um, you will always see this promotional information at the top. Obviously, it's uh, Christmas orientated in this particular screenshot. Um, depending on the time, yeah, you will see different um, graphics. But you've got to scroll down to get the real information. So what do, what do speedy barcodes say? So speedy barcodes sells legal and legitimate barcode numbers. All of the barcode numbers speedybarcodes.com sells were originally issued by the UCC, Uniform Code Council, now known as GS1. We offer the lowest prices for barcode numbers on the internet. We have a vast amount of barcode numbers in our inventory. And we feel that they should be priced low enough for everyone can afford them. Your barcodes will never expire. There is no expiration date on your barcode. They will always belong to you. There is no renewal fee 
you pay for your barcodes once and that's it there's no additional fees and no hidden costs okay so this is what uh, speedy barcodes are saying this is direct from our website what's the cost well i've already stated that um gs1 for one is around 200 something like this as you can see here start a upc barcodes order and you've got the prices down here i normally buy 25 or 50 off at a time it's entirely up to you what you purchase and where you purchase from obviously um this is just guidelines now what do you get once you do purchase a certificate for authenticity this is your proof of ownership it will show that we have transferred ownership of the barcodes you purchase from speedy barcodes to you or your company digital barcode artwork for all of your barcode numbers in eps jpeg and pdf formats for a, no additional charge okay you can use that artwork to create your own labels which we'll do in a minute or for printing directly on your product packaging so if you're creating your own specific unique packaging you can use this particular artwork and bring that into whatever artwork package um, software you're using uh, adobe graphics uh, adobe illustrator for example um, pop that in there and once you've got that on the box it's just going to be printed part of the artwork of the box i don't personally do that well, i've done that once i think um, I just normally use labels, which I'll show you in a minute. This is the Certificate of Authenticity, Speedy Barcodes, LLC, certifies the barcode numbers. And I've got confidential, confidential there. Because um, they're mine. Um, place a unique, one-of-a-kind, original issued UCC, now known as GS1 Speedy Barcodes, blah, 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 Two. Paul Adams, me. You can have your own name in there. You can have your business name. Um, as long as it represents you, this is to certify that. Um, those codes are now transferred to you. As you can see there, quantity purchase 25. So how do you make a label for your products? Uh, this is a, an example that I'm going to walk through in a second. Um, it's for for nutcase nutcase is the uh, the company that uh, Rob and I are looking after at the moment with respect to the iPad cases which uh, some of you are fully aware of so step one select the barcode number from the purchased list so from the 25 that I've purchased I'm gonna select one assign product details to the number in the spreadsheet or well, once you get the information you'll get a zip code um, sorry, a, um, uh, a, a compressed file. You've got to open up the compressed file. In there, you'll have some artwork. You'll have all of the, the JPEGs and stuff like this. You'll also have um, your certificate, um, some instructions on read me first, for example. But you also get a spreadsheet. Now, that spreadsheet has just got the list of numbers. Um, as you can see here, um, over on the right-hand side, I've got an extract from that um spreadsheet and you can see my numbers here and i've just assigned a various different products to inch unique upc okay because don't rem don't forget <clears throat> we need to assign a unique number to a unique product all right in this case they're all exactly the same product but they're a different color all right so you can see here dark blue green black purple royal blue have all got their own unique number and this is just the uh, the code that we're using uh, to identify the product. Okay, so as you can see down here, we've got um, the the image of the label that we're going to create. Now, step three. This is how you do it. Open up. This is how I do it. You can do it uh, in various different other pieces of software, but this is how I personally create mine because I don't use Adobe Illustrator or anything like that. Step three, open PowerPoint or Google Slides. Draw a rectangle. Doesn't matter what size, um, just give it a reasonable size. All right. Import image 
of the correct barcode that represents the UPC that you're using. Okay, so over here, we've got the dark blue. So on the top here, and you can see here, this is my number. So I would actually go into the graphics, the 12 digit graphics, G, um, JPEG, select this particular number and import it into PowerPoint. Then import your logo. If you haven't got a logo, just put your name in, company name, just type it in, doesn't matter, and add a short description. So you can see here I've got iPad fifth generation, dark blue. So therefore, I've not just identified it with a particular number. I've now associated the iPad fifth generation dark blue to this number. Okay. I'll show you how to do this step seven. It's group all and save as image, right? That image is what you send your supplier. In this particular case, the supplier says, can you send me a PDF? So, which is easy enough, okay? Because I've generated all of these on one particular sheet, and uh, I've just sent over the sheet as a PDF. All right, so let's have a look. Let's see what we do next. So, you can see here. Oops, let me go back. Okay, I need to come out of this so I can actually do some work on it. Okay, all of these are individual um, elements. So. I'm just going to move various different things around. Okay, these are individual items, as you can see. And the way I would do it is um, you can see that the size of the, the, the rectangle that I've drawn is not particularly small in comparison to the actual worksheet I'm working on. Okay, this is the... Um, the barcode so i'll just appropriately position that somewhere okay this is the logo so I'll bring the logo in maybe we want to resize that slightly looks about right bring in this maybe you want to increase the size of the font that somewhat that's better okay then bring in the dark blue i think i've just Left the line. Why is not left the line? So center align this way. Here we go. Let's align those. Looks better. You don't have to be too precise, but you can roughly see what I'm doing here. Okay. So let's zoom in a bit. Okay. Now. I think that's about right. Maybe I can bring this down a touch. Maybe take this up a bit. There you go. I'm happy with that. Okay. So once I'm happy with the positioning and I've got everything I want, all I've got to do then is just uh, click my mouse and just drag over the whole uh, section which I've just created. So everything's um, so come up to arrange and then group. Okay, so I've now grouped everything together. So if I just move that, everything's going to move together. They're no longer individual items. Okay, I think a right click. Okay, so I've got a right click on my mouse. Now it's going to bring up uh, another pop up window. And then save as picture is down in the bottom section. So if I save as picture, I can then save that. And I'm just going to throw it on my desktop for now. And it's a uh, barcode example. Okay, so that is now a picture. Okay, so I just proved that is a picture. So I'm going to insert picture. And I'm just going to select that from my desktop. Here's my desktop. Here's the barcode. Select it, insert, and here we go. Okay, this is now the picture. And again, you can just resize this. This is a JPEG that will resize nicely without blurring. Okay, so I've now got the original over here, and this is now the image of what we've just created. Um, this is just an image, so there's no, you can't edit this anymore. You'd have to come back into your PowerPoint. 
but this image is what you would send your supplier so you just attach this image to your email okay and then send that out all right so let's just uh or original artwork Okay. This is uh, the imported image. Okay. So again, you'll have these files, so you can actually work with us. If you want to ungroup this to edit this at all, um, this image will stay the same because you've saved this as an image. Okay, but to ungroup that again, you just come up to arrange, and what we're on just on the home tab at the top here. Look, just come along to arrange, and then ungroup. Okay, and then just click somewhere else. Okay, and now you can go off and do everything. So if you want to center align that, sometimes, okay, you need to do this. All right, so that's basically where you, if you want to regroup it again, again, just select the entire image. Make sure everything's selected, okay, and adjust that selected. So, for example, if I accidentally select original artwork grouped, okay, and then go group, right, the whole thing's there. So if I now save that as an image, I'm going to have this original artwork grouped just as a note from you guys, but it's going to be part of my artwork. I don't want to be sending that to my supplier, okay? So just be careful what you select. So I'm going to go ungroup again and just select the individual okay but what i'll do is i'll just leave this ungrouped for now so you can actually play with it once you get these slides let's go back to our full page presentation now i've been through that so so that is upcs and and how they work now i, I just a, a disclaimer uh, just a disclaimer uh, from the, the Amazon Gorillas. But like I said earlier, I personally uh, do not buy barcodes from GS1. However, Amazon recommend that you do purchase directly from GS1. Have you got any uh, anything to add to UPCs or or barcodes, Rob? Um. Well. You know, Amazon wants you know, a GSM. Now, the problem is, is that the amount of um, effort that it would take to do that in starting your business is, I think, prohibitive. Um, so there are companies out there, and I, I don't know if you've talked about them, but you can get registered GSM barcodes from them that are legitimate. But basically what you're doing is, is you're borrowing their codes which is technically okay if you have, you know, they give you certificates and do all those things, um, you know. So that's going to have to be a personal choice of yours. I don't suggest because um, it's quite expensive to go get one uh, standard from them. Um, I have used exactly the way Paul has done consistently and have not had a problem, and I wouldn't expect that you would too because there are – uh, there are definitely companies out there that will provide you legitimate, unused barcodes that you can put on your product and use with no problem at all. Exactly. Yeah, we, we did cover that. And there's a number of different places you can purchase from. Um, and, and in fact, there's, there is a list. If you go on to, to just search um, UBC barcodes, you'll be able to find a number of different places that, that actually sell that. But like I said, the example we went through today was speedy barcodes. You saw the certificate of authenticity. Um, and we've just had a quick look at how to create uh, a simple barcode um, label for your product. Now, like I said, this would be an individual label for this. So if we've got um, a thousand products coming in, Okay, you would send this one 
image to your supplier. You wouldn't send a thousand images because they could just print off what they need, okay, for that particular order and subsequent orders that you make for this one particular product. They would just put that on the packaging, okay? So that is UPCs and barcodes.